Hey, what's going on everybody? Dennis here, EDC for fun. And today we are looking at the Concept Cryo. This is a D2 carbon fiber variant, DLC coated. I'm uh, definitely digging this for what you get um, for the price. It's what, still what some people would consider budget under 70 bucks. It's definitely a nice knife to have in your pocket. Good worker, looks nice, feels great. And um, yeah, let's talk about it. So this one, like I said, it's got the carbon fiber scales. They do make this uh, in G10 as well as micarta. You can see um, it's got steel liners there. They are not milled out. The hardware on this guy is uh, T8 for the body, T10 for the pivot. Sorry, I bumped the camera. T6 on the clip. The clip is right hand only, uh, but it is a really nice clip. It's a 3D or sculpted or machined clip, whatever you want to call it. But I love, uh, love the profile of it. It's not super deep carry, so like, you know, this much sticks up out of your pocket there um but it just it goes in and out of the pocket super easy and the uh the tension on it's really good but not too much um i like definitely like the clip a lot action is really good it's definitely solid no wobble and you can see i've been uh been using it to cut it's got a slight recurve uh, which is nice because um, it's not too hard to sharpen, but it does give you that little extra benefit of the recurve. It's not um, hollow ground though, like the blur. The blur's got like a big, a bigger recurve, and is hollow ground. And man, that thing slices. Um, this thing does slice well, but nowhere near like what the blur does with that high hollow grind, plus the recurve. But either way, this thing does definitely destroy some cardboard. Is you know what as well as pretty much anything you throw at it um it's not uh it's not huge it's not small it's kind of a medium sized knife but it definitely feels you know feels husky it feels really good feels like it's ready to work um speaking of size we'll just go ahead and put it next to pair of three pair of two so you can see it's um, you're pretty much right right in between there. And then we'll go ahead and get a weight on this thing right quick. Four point two. So nothing crazy. Not super lightweight, but also not a tank either. Um, I did mention the action on the flipper is nice. It's not uh, not drop shut. You do have to shake it a little bit. The detent is pretty good. And the flipper, you saw that little fail there. Flipper is kind of big but has no jimping. So for a flipper that size, I'm glad it doesn't have jimping. Um, so I feel like that would probably be catching uh, in your pocket a little bit more with the jimping, but with the smoothness, it does kind of just slide in and out without really bothering anything. But fires pretty reliably. And with that hole, you can also reverse flick it. You can thumb roll it open. Flicking it with the thumb is a little challenging you have to like get it just right. But it's definitely fidget friendly. And uh, I've been enjoying it. Works really nice, looks really nice. So yeah, I dig it. I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let me know what you think. See ya.